Uh, one of the things I look at in the book is you can go back to the 50s and you can find some studies. There's problems with all this polling, but insofar as you can trust the polling, uh, there's some indication that there was a, in the 50s, you had maybe 12 percent of the population that was really deeply ideological in some respects and about 50 50 left and right. And today it's around 20, 22 percent. But the thing is, it doesn't look like that was a, a uniformly increasing across time. If it were just increasing at a steady rate, we'd get well into this century before more than half the country is, you know, a, a drone in Team Red and Team Blue. But I think what you would find if we had more data is instead it's been this rapid upward slope since the 90s for a lot of reasons, which means we're getting closer every year to a majority of the country really being invested in red versus blue, that kind of mindset, and turning off their reasoning brains. And yeah. that's very dangerous, right? What do you, what do you think drives that? Uh, you know, so Robert Putnam would say, and I, I pick on him some in the book, but I think there's a lot of wisdom in his work. He would say, well, if you don't have other um, kind of social uh, engagements, you know, you don't have church anymore, you don't have the Rotary Club, you don't have Little League and stuff, then um, you can get overly invested in politics as a form of catharsis and connection, and a cheap one too, like mm -hmm. it's cheap emotional connection. Um, so I think that could be part of it. Um, I think a, a deeper challenge is that, and a lot of political scientists have written about this, you've had what's called a party sorting, which means, you know, you can go back to the 80s and you could find Democrats who were for gun rights, Republicans who were for abortion rights, but they've really sorted themselves so that you're over here, you're over here on a lot of things. And Americans, um, it's much harder then to find somebody in their own tribe, if they're in a political tribe, that disagrees with them on anything. We, we agree on everything, and the other side agrees with us on nothing, therefore yeah. they're evil. We have no cross-cutting pressures to keep us together. And so it, it, it becomes a problem when more people then begin to invest in politics. The good news for now, the buffer is, most people are not invested in politics, which drives the political class crazy. Um, and that's what they're trying to change. Right? Is the, the people that aren't invested in politics, are they registering as independents or are they simply not registering? So that's a great question. Uh, I mean, you'll find um, some research into people who are un unregistered and comparing those to people who are registered. And you generally will find unregistered, so they're not voting, uh, tend to have lower levels of everything, uh, knowledge, awareness, uh, socioeconomic class, and so on. They're sort of, they've got other concerns in life, like getting by. Than, than anything else, for right or for wrong. Um, when you think about people who are not registered with a party, now in some states, that's just by design. The state does not, you, you don't register with a party. So you're just, you know, you. Um, we do know from the data we have about people who are not registered with a party, they're unaffiliated, when they have a choice to affiliate. Uh, a lot of political scientists disagree, and we can get into the, the reasons they're wrong, but what we do know is that uh, the people who are independents will go back and forth between parties mm -hmm. over time. They're not firmly committed to one side or the other, no matter what Nate Silver says or anybody else. They vacillate. And the reason you do see consistency in voting, so you'll see a, a county like this is a red county, this is a red precinct, you know, they voted the same way for the past you know, four cycles. It's not so much that these people are really excited about the Republicans. It's that they're a little bit to the right and the people the Democrats nominate to them are crazy. Now, the Republicans are kind of crazy, too, but they're a little less crazy. Yeah. So if they're going to vote, they vote this way. 